Hey everybody, welcome back to 8 Bite. Uh, I'm excited, I've got a really fun recipe for you today. If you're like me, you were a child of the late 80s, early 90s, back when Disney Channel had some awesome cartoons. And uh, today, I'm going to show you how to make a crucial element to one of those cartoons. And that cartoon is... Gummy bears, bouncing here and there and everywhere. High adventure that's beyond compare. We are the gummy bears. Yeah, that's right. Gummy Bears. I love that cartoon. And in each episode, they always had a juice called Gummy Berry Juice. And so it's what they used to like help them bounce around and beat the bad guys, and it, it was just so cool. But uh, today, I'm going to show you my rendition of Gummy Berry Juice. So I'm excited. Let's get going. Okay, so for this recipe, it's really simple. All you need is two cups of cold water, one cup of boiling water, a bowl to mix it in, a uh, uh, utensil to stir it with. I'm using a wooden spatula type slotted spatula thing uh, because in the cartoon they always used a wooden spoon to mix their gummy berry juice so I gotta go with the wooden utensil for myself. And now here's where the preference comes into play with flavors. For me, I think that this combination makes a great color and flavor. Of course people can have different tastes but what I'm using is half of one of those Kool-Aid drink packets one of these guys. This is the Tropical Punch flavor and you only use half of that, which is right here in this cup. And then for the jello, I'm using Jolly Rancher Watermelon. I love watermelon, it's a great flavor. And you want to use three and a half tablespoons of your gelatin. And then you also want to have three tablespoons of sugar. Okay, like I said, this is really simple. You're going to pour your gelatin into the bowl. And then you're going to add your boiling water on top of that. And now you just want to stir that until the gelatin is dissolved. So you just got to stir it, keep stirring it. Oh, it smells really good, that watermelon flavor already. Okay, and that looks good. So once your gelatin is dissolved, then you're going to add your Kool-Aid juice drink mix into there. Start to stir that together. Here comes that dark color that you want for that gummy berry juice. And then once that's a little bit incorporated, you want to add your sugar. And you want to stir this again until it dissolves and melts together. No more sugar lumps or sugar crystals and nice smooth liquid. Okay, once that's all mixed in and dissolved, you're going to add your cold water to this now. Just pour that on in. And just kind of mix it again just to make sure it's all good to go. And that's it. This is your gummy berry juice. However, here comes the trick with it. You're going to put it in the fridge and the gelatin should start to solidify somewhat. Not as much as like an actual jello, but it should solidify somewhat to make it like a, um, a thicker juice. And that's where the gummy berry aspect comes into it. So from here, you can either pour it into a pitcher or what I'm going to be doing is I went to Michael's, or I work at Michael's, so when I was at Michael's today, I picked up these awesome glass jar vial type things. They came with corks in the top, and it looks just like what they use in Gummy Bear, or Adventures of Gummy Bears. So I'm going to use these to pour mine into. But of course, like I said, if you don't have these, you can always use a pitcher. It works just as well. Oh my goodness, guys. I almost forgot the most crucial step. In one of the episodes, we learn how to finish making the juice properly, and I almost forgot that part. So here's what you need to do for the last step, which is very, very important. You want to stir slowly to the right, and then slowly to the left, and then after that, you're going to bang the side of it to get rid of any bubbles. And that is how you finish off your gummy berry juice. Alright, so I have misplaced my funnel. So you guys get a little bonus tip in here. If you misplace your funnel, or you don't have one, let me show you how to quick throw together a funnel. What you're gonna need is just a sheet of wax paper and some tape. So you wanna fold your paper in half, like so. And using your finger as a, a center point, you're going to wrap it and make a cone out of the rest of the paper. 
Make sure you have a hole in the bottom so that way it's enough that the juice can pour out, but also big enough that it will fit into your, well in this case, my little jar that I bought. So I got one of those in hand. So a little hole in there, make sure it fits in there. And then you're gonna use a piece of tape and tape the flap on the outside into place. And you have a makeshift funnel. To make it a little easier to pour, fold down the sides, make it like a nice level funnel. And there you go. Wax paper. When you pour the liquid into here though, make sure you hold it like that so it doesn't flop around. But yeah, pour your liquid into a measuring cup. That worked pretty well last time. And then pour that into your makeshift funnel or a real funnel. And then add your cork topper, which I got right here. And once it's all like that, it'll look just like this. Gummy berry juice in the jar. Once again, you can put these in the refrigerator. And you want to set them sit for like three hours, four hours, even overnight would be good. Because it is a gelatin and you want that to set up some. So make sure you put these in the fridge and let them set. And be patient. But then when they're done, they're going to be delicious. So I'll see you once they're ready. All right, everyone, so it's finally ready. However, a little confession. It took a lot longer than the three to four hours I thought it would take to set to this right consistency. I had to wait overnight. So it's now the next day, and I've got some nice gummy berry juice. It pours like a, a really thin, I mean, it's like a watery jello, so a really thin jam kind of thing. And uh, yeah, now it's time to give it the old taste test. Pop the cork and down the hatch. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That's what I think gummy berry juice would taste like and the right consistency. So cool, it's so cool, I love this. Awesome. So, <laughs> so thanks again for watching everybody and I hope to see you next time. Until then, have a good one.